the customer may want to do some coring or put down some anchors and some slab and he's hiring you to do some um, locating and marking or what we like to call 2D. In this 2D application, we're gonna show where the targets are, map it out on the slab so that the customer knows where to core or where to lay down anchors or, or any of that stuff. So after turning on the machine and making certain I'm in 2D mode here, I just simply press the collect button and make certain that collect is highlighted and just press enter. The area I'm going to be interested in is in this area here. And I'm going to just simply do again a locate and mark in this 2D mode here. So I move the cart forward. And also as I'm moving the cart forward, I'm going to notice all the options at the bottom of my screen here. So for example, if there's a reference point or something like that. I can press the mark button and place a mark in the data, which puts a dotted line so that maybe for future reference, I know where I've marked it as far as a reference was concerned. Okay. Now, once some uh, hyperbolas show up, these hyperbolas and things, I can start backing the mini up. When I back the mini up, a couple of things happen. Number one, a backup cursor appears. When the backup cursor appears, this shows exactly where the targets are. And once I have the hyperbolas split in half by the backup cursor, I simply take the chalk or whatever marker you want to use, using the lasers as guide, placing these lines right here, of where the target is. Also, as I back up, the second thing that happens is that the menu options at the bottom change as well, and it gives me some other options. Another option that I can do here is called Auto Gain. Auto Gain, if I press that button, what that does is kind of redisplays the screen so that the image looks better. In technical terms, it kind of fixes the contrast on your screen so that images just show up better in your screen. Simply press that button and it redraws the screen. The images show up much better. So I keep backing up the Structure Scan Mini and continue that process. You'll also notice on this screen that some of the hyperbolas are much brighter than this hyperbola here. This hyperbola is much dimmer. Dimmer means this is probably more than likely a non-metal target, PVC's conduits, but non-metal. Again, I would mark that as a target in a slab, but again, it is much dimmer than the metal ones that you see here, the brighter hyperbolas here. And I continue that process of marking and this is a bright one, so that's probably metal, and so on. After I've marked them, what I want to do is simply place an X in between the lines that I've created here. The X actually represents exactly where radar saw that target. Then, what I want to do is continue this process, roll my wheel forwards until my data is blank or until I can start all over again. Start about three, four, five, six inches over and do the exact same process. Roll forward, and again, move it back and place the lines where you see the backup cursor bisect a hyperbola. And I continue that process throughout. Placing the X in between the lines that I have drawn, and eventually connecting the X's. And I have now mapped out where rebars or any targets travel this way. In this particular case, when I scanned over here, this PVC did not show up over here on my screen. Therefore, it probably either ended or maybe took a turn, left turn or right turn. I can't determine that until I do more scans. So that's why I'm not connecting any lines through here because I didn't see it. If you have questions about that, you can continue to do 3D or you can rescan it again and make certain that you did it correctly and redo the process again in this area to make certain that you didn't miss it. Now, I also want to repeat the process going perpendicular or, or the other direction, 90 degree direction. The reason being is that I found all the targets running this way. Now I have to go this way and I roll my wheel forward to get blank data on my screen and just simply go this direction and do the exact same process of, of, of marking out where my hyperbolas are and going three, four, five, six inches over doing the same process marking and connecting the X's so now I can find the targets running this way as well as this way. Sometimes when you're doing 2D and you see the images on your, on your screen, it may be complex to really interpret what's going on. You have hyperbolas going all over the place. You, not, you can't figure out how to connect the X's and so. That's where 3D can come in handy. 3D gives you a much better image. 
See this section on 3D processing for more information.